sewing curved seams on this sample I've got some convex curves and some concave curves and you sew them essentially the same way it's almost like sewing corners but instead of one big pivot you'll be doing lots of small pivots so on a curvier seam you might draft it with just a quarter inch seam allowance to make these curves a bit easier but if your pattern does come with standard seam widths then you'll just sew it at that 15 line or the 5 8 line and my eye stays right there glued to that guideline and on the bigger curves it's pretty easy just to be swinging this around but on tighter curves like this I might need to do a series of small little pivots just always keeping my eye right there at that guideline and on a very tight curve like that I can reduce my stitch length to I'll use 1.4 millimeters around here and then return back to a standard stitch length. So it's just a, a series of small pivots, but a shorter stitch length is nice for doing tight little curves. And then clipping curves. So the way we trim excess fabric around a corner is similar to curves you have to think that when you turn this right side out all of that seam allowance has to pack in here so do you see how it overlaps like that so there are a couple ways we can deal with that one is just to cut the seam allowance down in half around curves okay uh, this is for convex curves so you can just cut your seam allowance down in half then your seam allowance can easily fit in there and you don't have a lot of overlap same with concave curves you can trim your seam allowance down in half but then you might need to do one more thing and that is clipping your curves on the concave curves it has to spread out around that curve and that's quite a tight little curve so what you do is you'll snip in you'll just snip in like this around those curves so that that seam allowance can spread out when you turn it right side out you see what I mean so it can spread out like that around that curve good and then on a tight convex curve you can snip out little triangles So that is just eliminating those little spots that overlap around the curve. And then when you turn that right side out, you'll have a nice smooth edge and it won't be bulky.